This week is set to be one of the larger and more volatile weeks in the crypto markets as well as financial markets as a whole due to earnings reports, the upcoming FOMC meeting and the overall environment that crypto currently finds itself in. Traders yesterday piled in at the lows with shorts and that forced a little bit of an upside pump on Monday in Bitcoin and Ethereum and the crypto market as a whole. We also saw some relief in traditional markets and overall we saw a little bit of a risk on shift. Now the late longs are piling in and that could force a little bit of an intraday pullback given that the long side is now dominating the market and they're chasing price after it has already pumped higher over the last 24 hours. I want to focus on this week's calendar and particularly Tuesday and Wednesday. So on Tuesday, we have Alphabet earnings as well as Visa earnings and Microsoft earnings. So those three large tech giants will have a significant say in how the NASDAQ moves. And as you can see, the NASDAQ has a very, very strong correlation to Bitcoin. The correlation between Bitcoin and the NASDAQ is so strong right now. And it has been for a long time as the institutional adoption of Bitcoin and crypto continues to grow. On Wednesday, we have the ECB's Panetta talking about decentralized finance. Then we have CME earnings, Meta or Facebook earnings, as well as PayPal earnings. So they could be big events that drive the NASDAQ and in turn, that will drive Bitcoin. On Thursday, Twitter has earnings. We have the US initial jobless claims, Robinhood earnings, Amazon earnings and Apple earnings. So this week sees the largest tech giants, well, most of the largest tech giants in the US report earnings, and that will have an impact on how the NASDAQ index, the US technology stock index, how that moves, and that will impact how Bitcoin crypto moves over the coming days. And obviously next week we have the big event being the May FOMC meeting where the market is pricing in a 50 basis point hike by the FOMC. And the Fed is doing that to be more aggressive in their approach to taming inflation, which of course has been running away towards all time highs over the recent months. With the exception of US earnings, there's not a whole heap of scheduled events on the macroeconomic calendar for the rest of this week. But the big event, like I've just said, is next week when the US FOMC, the Federal Reserve, announced their monetary policy update for May. And that should drive Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies into a little bit of a risk off shift as well as traditional markets. So you'll see the US dollar remain supported on dips as tighter monetary policy takes place in the US.